For our next toolpath, we're going to take the grooving tool that we used here and use that to cut off the back side of the part. That is a parting operation. I want you to go to turning and turning part for our toolpath. We can see it already has that grooving tool selected and it already knows where the back side of the part is so it's given us a preview of what that toolpath is going to look like. So under geometry there's really nothing to select. For radii our clearances are okay, there's nothing to select. Passes, we really have nothing to select. You may want to use something like the pecking operation Pecking will allow it to take multiple steps to get down to the final depth. Again, depending on the hardness of your material, this might be a more practical way of allowing coolant to get down to the tip of the tool. You can also have it dwell before it does the retract move. That will allow you to do a full cleanup at the bottom of the cut. Depending on how your post processor is set up on the tooling tab, you may want to tell it to use the parts catcher. By checking this, it will output the code to extend the part catcher on your machine. But again, your post processor would need to be set up for that to function properly. There really is nothing for us to change, so we're simply going to hit OK. And we can see that it's been cut off along the backside.